Hello, this is Catalytics and welcome to today's session. In this particular next one, we are going to continue with the correlation analysis between two or more quantitative variables to see whether there's a significant association pairwise between these two quantitative variables. So if you watch the previous one, we established the piercing pairwise from correlation, where we establish the coefficients and how we can associate significance to it using the data platform. Now, of choice is the piercing correlation coefficient when we have a normally distributed data set. Now, in a situation where we do not have a normally distributed data set where the data set we are looking at or the variables do not pass normality tests, then we, we cannot use the Pearson coefficient of correlation, but we will need to fall on the Spearman rank correlation. So we have to fall on the Spearman rank correlation coefficient. So that is the purpose of this particular video where we'll be using the Stata platform to know how we can be able to run a Spearman rank correlation coefficient. So without wasting much time, we go to the command window and we are going to assume that all these variables we have used for this particular um, Pearson correlation coefficient are not normally distributed. Mind you, you know how to run this normality test for these variables. If you don't know how to run it, there's a video on the channel that talks about that. You may want to search for that and watch it again. So instead of the PW core, we are going to type Spearman and then our variables follow. Our var variables will follow. And then uh, we add this as well. And then we click on enter. So straight away, it gives us the coefficient of correlation. This one is a Spearman correlation of co correlation, correlation coefficients. So here is negative 0 0.537. And then the rest are followed. Now, this one just gives us the coefficients. Now, we want to know whether these coefficients make significant difference in terms of statistics. And in so doing, we have to adjust this line of code by adding star. We are going to add stats into brackets row P. So it should give us the row P, good. So by running that, it gives us the row significant level. So at this, just below the coefficients are the significant P values. So are the p-values or the significant levels. So here we have, so here we have 0 0.3325. Here we have less than 0 0.001 and the rest. Now, just as we mentioned in the previous video on the piercing correlation, we want to ascribe stars to it so as to make it very easy for us to identify. To do that, we will just type this line of code star 0 0.05 and then we click on enter. And you realize that those that are significant have stars associated with them. So this one makes it a very, very easy, very easy to be able to identify. If you find this video useful, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell, so you are always notified. Until we meet again on our next one, this is Schedulitics, and it's a bye.